Welcome to episode two of Sportsman's Behind the Glass. We are back in our lamination department and last episode we focused on hull construction. Now it's time for us to focus on our stringer system. So let's take a look at what's behind the glass. The stringer is the spine of the boat. It sits between the deck and the hull, providing the necessary support while housing all of the important components built into modern boats. Each Sportsman model has a designated stringer engineered to be an exact match and provide the necessary support. All of our stringers are fully structural fiberglass parts that require no foam for rigidity. To start building the stringers, we use a mold same as what we do with our hulls. And it all begins with the gel coat layer. This extra added benefit provides a finished interior when you open a hatch or look inside the bilge. Once the gel coat has cured, the team starts building the fiberglass layers to a specified thickness. Next, composite materials are applied in strategic areas for added strength. We will finish up this part by hand laying bulk fiberglass and trimming any excess. To finish this layer, the team uses special rollers to penetrate and release any trapped air for an air void free part. With the introduction of our larger models, we've also developed our proprietary full grid stringer system. A full grid stringer system has 360 degrees of contact and support to the hull. The increased surface area brings immense hull strength on larger boats with higher horsepower requirements. Let's take a quick pause here and take a look at some of the features that are built into our stringers. As far as design goes, both for our traditional stringers as well as our new full grid stringers, design very similar. What you'll find are different cavities that are designed for different things. For example, this back area here, this is the bilge area. Notice how it's completely gel coated over. It makes it really easy to clean and really nice to see whenever you open your bilge. In front of that, we do have a cavity here which will end up being the fuel tank cavity. And forward of that, we have additional storage as well as space for the anchor road. A very important thing that we have built into our stringers is support for our side entry doors. Notice this additional knee that comes up to make sure that we have the necessary support of that. We also have built-in in-floor boxes. Now the cavities, they are foam filled. These are called bulkheads. And in the case of the stringer, they serve as additional flotation. But in the case of the boxes, they actually serve as the insulation to make sure that those boxes stay nice and cool. Now in contrast, I am standing inside one of our full grid stringer systems that we use in our larger models. Now, as far as design goes, you still have a built cavity. You still have in-floor boxes fuel tank cavity and so on and so forth. So very, very similar. However, the big difference is notice how all throughout the entire hall, we have 360 degrees of contact and the contact is much higher up on the hall sides. What this allows us to do is take the energy being transferred up the boat and immediately dissipate it up the hall sides, giving you a softer and smoother ride. This new design also features a class leading designed in Seakeeper pod. This places the Seakeeper center line for even weight distribution and down low in the hull for the strongest stabilization effect.
Additionally, we've designed a total access compartment for easy maintenance. For the ultimate installation platform, we laminate solid aluminum blocks into every single Seakeeper ready boat. Once lamination has been completed, the stringer will be pulled out of the mold and precision trimmed inside a cut and grind booth. Next, it's time for us to marry the hull and the string. To do this, the stringer is lowered into the hull where a technician will trace the entire stringer to show the outline where we will apply the chemical bonding agent. We use an aerospace grade adhesive called methamethacrylate. Using a special application gun, the technician applies a thick bead along the traced area. This process chemically etches and permanently bonds both parts. After curing time is complete, the unitized hull and stringer is finally pulled out of the mold, revealing the beautiful finish on the hull side. With the two parts now permanently attached, the empty cavity between the stringer and the hull is filled with a closed cell foam. An added benefit to our strong design is that the foam is not serving any structural support and it's just additional flotation. This foam also serves as an incredible insulator for our index fish boxes, which are built into the stringer system. Later in the process, this stringer will serve as the grid to install essential components like the fuel tank, pumps, in-floor fish boxes, and much more. Thank you for taking the time today to take a look at our stringer construction. This is part of our SportTech advanced fabrication process. This proprietary combination of processes and materials yields the best results each step of the way and has been thoroughly tested for durability, longevity, and finish. All sports and boats feature 100% composite construction with zero wood. Join us in our next episode for another installment of Sportsman's Behind the Glass, where we take an in-depth look at how we build our decks. From Somerville, South Carolina, my name is Victor, and thank you for watching.